Hey again. So let's talk about some common questions or concerns that you probably have right now because we all have them and we all were a little bit skeptical too at the same time. So I would love to address that right now. So first one I hear a lot from people is, well, how can I coach other people when I'm still working on my fitness goals and I'm not at my goal weight? So what I would say to that is that is amazing because people will resonate more with you and where you're at right now, not with perfection. So people don't want a coach that is in perfect shape. They have the bikini body. They just don't relate to that. People relate to real people with real struggles. Like I said before, this business is uh, like, come join me. Let's do this together kind of business, not a come look at me. I'm perfect. I have a beach body um, kind of business at all. So the journey is what coaching is. It's just showing up for ourselves each day and sharing about it. And that is what is inspiring to people because if you can do it, they can do it too. And you're going to attract a lot of people to you who are similar to you. So maybe you work full time or maybe you're a mom or maybe you're a fur mama or you have 50 pounds to lose or 100 pounds to lose or maybe you don't have any weight to lose at all and you just want to get stronger and put on some definition or you just want to get your nutrition in check like whatever it is there is people out there right now wanting help with exactly what you are wanting help with too so those people will be attracted to you so everyone has a different kind of clientele so there's no cookie cutter coach everyone has their own journey and that is what you're going to share about is your journey so the next one would be well Ali I'm not a salesperson how can I do this job and I think that's great too because I find people that tell me hey I'm a great salesperson I'll be so good at this typically don't do that great at this because they come out of the gates with sales and sales and, and every every person is like a number to them which on our team we really pride ourselves on just sharing our journey and inviting people to join us and if it's a good fit for them awesome and if it's not that's okay too we never try to convince people that this is what they should be doing so I don't find myself to be a salesperson yes there is a sales involved and yes it is a sales company but the way we do it is so different than any other sales position. It's just sharing what we're excited about and sharing our journey. So don't think you have to have a sales background to be good at this job. So the next one is no time. So like, how do I do this with a full-time job and two to three children at home? So we have lots of people on our team who work full-time. Actually, most of them do. Some work part-time, some have kids, most have kids actually, not most, I'm not really sure how many, but <laughs> you get the point. Um, but we've had many successful coaches working full time with three children. This is one coach in particular I'm thinking of, if she's watching this, you know who you are. So she worked full time as a teacher, has three children under eight years old, and was taking her masters for teaching and was rocking it at coaching. And we will show you in your training how you can do this business with an hour to two hours a day. So you can carve out that time however works for your lifestyle. So maybe that's an hour in the morning before the kids get up or half an hour in the morning and a half an hour after the kids go to bed. Or maybe that's just a half an hour after the kids go to bed or a lunch break for you. However you want to fit it into your day. But I promise you when you are passionate about something and you're growing this for you like this would be your business you make it more of a, a priority to fit it into your day we all have the same amount of hours in our day it's what we prioritize that we get done like when you really want something done like you get it done right and there's so many hidden minutes in the day for instance like time sitting down watching Netflix like you could get through two Grey's Anatomies really quick and that could be the time spent to grow your business to change your life so like the outcome is huge for the little sacrifice of time you're going to make um and, and our training covers all that to show you like what you can focus on each day do this 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 and this focus and you can get a, an, a lot of work done in a short amount of focus time so the next one i'm going to address is uh well i 
don't have money to buy my challenge pack to sign up. Guys, that was me. My visa was $2,000 over the max limit. So it was maxed out plus $2,000 over. I don't know why they always let me go over, but they did. So when I signed up, I was talking to my coach, my now coach, and I was like, well, I don't have the money. Like I physically, there's nothing left. I'm already over max. And as I was talking, I was saying like, I can't afford it. I'm like, I am so sick and tired of saying I can't afford it. And that was my story. And that's what I kept saying for everything, for going shopping, I can't afford it. Friends wanted to go out for dinner. Oh, I can't afford it. And I would make up excuses that we couldn't go. So when I, when I listened to myself, I was like, you know what? This is my opportunity to change that. The sky is a limit for what you can earn here. And I have a pretty good work ethic that I knew I would put in the work and I would earn back that cost of the challenge pack. And our training will show you how to do that in your first month. You can earn back the cost of your challenge pack. But also what you're going to get with that challenge pack, you're going to get all the tools you need to hit your fitness goals. So the worst case scenario, if you decide, hey, coaching isn't for me, you're still going to lose weight and get in shape if losing weight is what your goal is. Um, so yeah, so the cost of the challenge pack, you will learn how to earn that money back. And if you think about it, you get to build this business, get to build a business for the cost of a Lululemon outfit, which is pretty crazy and build it as big as you want to. So maybe there's things, go run your host, like there's yard sale sites, go run your host and see what you don't use anymore. Sell it on a yard sale site. There you go. You can build a business. Um, I sell all kinds of stuff anyway. So the next one I'm going to address is, well, I'm not good at social media. A lot of people say that because they see how we post on social media. And if you follow my page, you will know my social media now does not look like it did when I first started. It's something you learn and you get comfortable with as you go. I was very scared of sharing on social media at first. And I was the person that posted once a week on Facebook and now I post every day because that's my storefront. That's what I'm sharing. It's my brand. And you'll get more comfortable as you go. But once you realize the stuff you're sharing, you're sharing positive stuff. You're sharing stuff about becoming a better person. You're still just sharing lifestyle stuff. It's not like you sign up for to be a coach and all of a sudden everything is health and fitness. We, we don't want you to do that. We, we encourage you to still just share your life, but now you're incorporating some different habits into it. And you will get better at it. And when we focus on our personal development as well, that helps bring out the confidence in you as well. And when people start commenting, like, thank you, like that was so awesome, or sending nice messages, you're like, okay, it's really not as scary as I thought it was. So that's something you will learn. And we have training on that too. It talks about social media, all the different like tips and tricks you can do, even just to make your photos pop more, but also to get comfortable with sharing. And we're always there to help as well. So I covered like the main questions that I get, but if you guys have any more questions, please reach out to me, or if I'm not your coach or your person you were talking to, reach out to them and we'll make sure that you get the answers to your questions. All right, guys, have a great day.